The Lives of the Saints by Father Alban Butler, January 31st, St. Francesco, Saverio Maria Bianchi. Francesco Xavier Bianchi was born in Arpino in 1743. Arpino was then part of the Kingdom of the Two Sicilies. The saint did his ecclesiastical studies in Naples and received the tonsure at the age of 14. His father stubbornly opposed the young man's entering religious life, and Francis Xavier went through a period of anguished conflict between the will of his parents and what he considered to be the will of God. He finally turned to St. Alphonsus Liguori for advice during one of the saint's missions. The saint confirmed him in his vocation, and Francis Xavier, overcoming all opposition, entered the congregation of the clerics regular of St. Paul, better known as Barnabites. Probably as a result of the efforts he had made to pass this test, the saint fell ill and suffered terribly for three years. Finally, he managed to recover, made great progress in his studies, and distinguished himself particularly in literature and the sciences. He was ordained a priest in 1767. His superiors showed him exceptional trust, for not only did they allow him to hear confessions even though he was very young, something very rare in Italy, but they appointed him superior of two colleges at the same time. The saint held this office for 15 years. Many other important offices were entrusted to him, but Francis Xavier felt more and more called to detach himself from earthly things and consecrate himself entirely to prayer and priestly ministries. Thus, he began to lead a life of extreme mortification and austerity. He spent much of his time in the confessional, where thousands of people came to consult him. His health suffered, and he became so weak that he could barely crawl from one place to another. Francis Xavier did not change his way of life, but went on as if nothing had happened. His courageous resolution to live in the service of others seems to have given a special efficacy to his words and prayers so that everyone regarded him as a saint. When the religious congregations were dispersed in Naples, Francis Xavier was in a pitiful state. His legs were swollen and covered with sores, and he had to be carried to the altar to celebrate Mass. This had the advantage of meriting him special privileges, for the authorities allowed him to keep the religious habit and remain in the college, where he lived all alone in the strictest religious observance. Many miracles and prophecies of Father Bianchi are told. In the process of beatification, mention was made of two notable cases in which he multiplied money to pay debts. During the eruption of Vesuvius in 1805, the population carried the saint on a horse to the river of lava, which stopped as soon as Francis Xavier made the sign of the cross in front of him. The veneration that the Neapolitans had for him at the end of his life was boundless. Rome had its neri, black, they said, but we have our Bianchi, white, who is no less good. Many years before, one of his penitents, St. Mary Francis of Naples, who died in 1791, had promised Father Bianchi that she would appear to him three days before he passed away. He was persuaded that the saint would keep her promise, as indeed she did. St. Francis Xavier Bianchi breathed his last on January 31, 1815. He was canonized in 1951 by Pius XII.